Welcome to another Mad About You's Two Minutes video. This is part three of my provisional cast on videos. Um, it's very similar looking to a long tail cast on, but has a few differences. You're going to be using two different yarns, your working yarn and your waist yarn. Uh, this is my uh, waist yarn, the white, and the lime green is my working yarn. I've made a slip knot and I want to keep my waist yarn on top. I'm going to hang on to this little slip knot. I'm not going to put it on my knitting needle, but I'm going to get these tails out of the way so it makes it easier to work. And I'm going to set up as if I'm going to do a long tail cast on. But you'll see here in a minute, um, there are some major differences. So, in order to do this one, you're going to start with your needle pointing to the left. You're going to take it down into the middle, under your working yarn, in front of both, behind both, come back to the center, and then go under your waist yarn. Let's try that again. Down into the middle, under your working yarn, in front of both, behind both, back to the middle, under your waist yarn. I'll do it one more time. Down through the middle, under your working yarn, behind your waist yarn, under both, back to the center, and under your waist yarn. Okay, so when it comes time to start knitting, you really want to hang on to your two yarns because they are going to try to get away from you. And what I like to do is take my waist yarn and bring it out to the front, which kind of locks your working yarn in place and hold on to it with your left hand. And then you're just going to take your other knitting needle and begin knitting as usual. Get down to the end, and that last stitch is a little loopy and funky, but don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Okay. And then you're just going to continue knitting according to your pattern. I've done a little sample piece here so you can see what this looks like when it's done. Um, the, the waist yarn almost looks like when you put a lifeline in to your knitting. It's just sitting there holding those live stitches. There's no, there's no crochet chain to pull out. It's um, very easy. You're just going to pull this out after you get these stitches on your needle. But what you're going to do is you're going to have to get the first one's a little tricky. You're going to have to get that back leg. The first stitch is a little, a little wonky. But after that, it's just going in purlwise and picking up your live stitches. And then when you're done, you can just zip this line out and you'll have your live stitches secure. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.